Leo. Leo, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Please be sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that you ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload all your favorite content. There is new content that comes out every single week. If you're looking for personal readings, I do do those as well. Please check out my website at bornwithoutboundariestarot.com to schedule and arrange everything right there. Um, this is a timeless message. So it comes to you when you're ready to receive the message. And this channel is filled with them. Peruse and see what calls to you. This is a message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is an energy reading. So it's just going to describe to you the energies that are about you right now based on the connection with Leo energy. Please take all the messages where and how they resonate with you in your life. Leo. The abundant universe will, will provide and turn knowledge into wisdom. Have you been having sort of a conflict of, um, conflict of faith or feeling like everything is falling apart? The universe is coming through right now to let you know the abundant universe will provide there is abundance in this universe and it will provide for you you will be provided for so these worries and these fears that everything is going to fall apart and not be okay coming through loud and clear that's the way that it appears because you're looking very the three-dimensional you're looking at at at, at what what you're looking at the complications but the truth is there's so much abundance here and it's fine you will be you will be provided for and then turn knowledge into wisdom what you know use what you know you already have the information it's just learning how to see it in the way that it's going to basically awaken you and and inform you it's basically saying um see things on a see things on a deeper level it's all it's almost like you have the information there's the information is right there and I know, I know I'm hesitating to say that because God I need you to lead me through this for Leo's what exactly do you mean by this because it's it's not comforting it's like saying to somebody hey you have all the information that you need that's great but I still don't understand it and that's the problem. And there's nothing that you're giving me by telling me you have all the information. I don't know what to do with it, right? So it's like, what do we do with that scenario then? What do we do with that scenario then? I know it's very frustrating when you watch tarot card readings and like you have the information, you just have to, you know, it's like, okay, but I don't know how, and that's the problem. You could give me a, a billion dollars, and if I didn't know how to spend it correctly, it would be nothing but a waste, because the next day I'd wake up and I'd have spent it all. I need to learn, I need to be taught, right? Okay, so I hear your frustration, I feel your frustration. In the past, this has got something to do with know your worth, know your value, know that you are worthy, okay and then transformation is beautiful so a necessary need to change or transform or the transformative wisdom of knowing your value and knowing how much your worth will change your life knowing your value 
and then we have nothing is wasted okay let's get into tarot so nothing is wasted as in there's a treasure in a trash heap here that's my treasure in a trash heap card i feel your frustration though i feel your worry and i feel your concern this sense of of what was i supposed to learn from this what was i supposed to understand and i think the understanding here is just a transformation that you're in a transformative period of your life where there will you will feel kind of awkward and out of sorts and you will feel see everything it's it will seem like everything that is um, normal to you is coming down and crashing down around you this is a sign of your transformation this is a sign that your life is absolutely changing and that you are sort of coming into a new version of who you are um, this has to do however with um, tangible resources hold on let's get into the tarot let's go we got to unravel this a little bit more god please articulate for leo with this what the meaning of especially nothing is wasted what do you mean queen of wands that's you so god means you and god means your confidence in yourself and your capabilities so your capabilities and your so your confidence in yourself has been interrupted it's been um maybe diminished a little bit right now because there's been a lot of hard work that you have been doing that really hasn't seemed to get you anywhere right no matter what you try the there's no production and you're confused you don't understand why because you see yourself as very high value so it could actually be that's the problem that you don't realize that the way that you see yourself is almost is finished when in reality you're not finished there's still like i said from the from the opening i need to learn more i need to be open and receptive to learning more because what I'm trying, what everything I think I know, I don't actually know. I'm not actually understanding how to work this soil in front of me. I'm not actually understanding the options in front of me. There's still some cluelessness here. It's like there's a conflict between the level of confidence and the level of competence. And there's a clash there. So it could be going back and relearning, well, this is what I know and this is the level I'm actually at. So how do I work within the level I'm actually at instead of the level that I want to be? It's not that you shouldn't want to be at another level. It's that you need to see where you are now in order to get to that other level. There's an assumption here or there's just sort of like a, a dissonance, a cognitive dissonance between what you are or what you know you're capable of and what you're actually doing right now. So there could be a little bit of depression that's happening, okay? So what do we do about it? What do we do about it? It could also, this, th there is this sense of not being seen or valued for everything that you are or that you've contributed. Um, we have the three of wands here, which means keep looking toward the future and keep reflecting on what you know you are um, inside the, the, the person that you are certain that you are right because it seems like no matter what you do everything that you create people are ignoring or you're feeling like people are ignoring but there's this sense of okay maybe you just have to be the one out front though and that's kind of where you are right now and it could be that you're getting a lot of wind in your face and dirt in your face for it but there is definitely beautiful things that are on the horizon for you so ultimately what i think god is saying is keep going that can you give us a little support with that, God? There's something new here that you should try or start again, an, a beginning. Oh, you're on a, oh, I understand. Okay. So Leo, what God is telling you is that you're actually leveled it up, that you've actually gotten it to the next level. And the issue is, I think that you, you, you don't like, it's like 
it's not looking like that because it's brand new. It's like you're starting over again, but you're starting over again, level up. So we have this new opportunity that is coming for you and God is really wanting you to take it. Move forward, move on, maybe actually move physically, but figuring out how to solve the problems with this new idea. If you've been feeling really, really like just exhausted, I think you need to trust yourself. You need to trust your body and you need to trust that maybe that's just, you need time off, you need a break. There's fear here. I feel a lot of fear that in fact, if you take that break, um, everything will crash down. And that's not true because you've already worked. You've already done the work. Um, allow people now to then discover it. We have your commitment is being tested. How badly do you want this, right? And be bold and make the first move. So you're being told to go after it, to get after it, to be certain of yourself, whatever this is that you're thinking, whatever this is that you're wanting. Where, where is your passion right now, Leo? Because you do have everything you need to really get it. This, any kind of self-doubt is because of the issues or problems that you've been struggling with, interrupting with how you feel about yourself, but you really do have everything you need. And it's everything you need in order to, I don't know what it is, get this new opportunity or move in this new direction. And so it's ultimately just reminding yourself that you actually do believe it and you that you do have it. You do have everything that you need and you are like this new opportunity is opening up for you. Your commitment is being tested by how strong you feel about yourself, how strong you feel about the future. Be bold and make the first move. You've been going after it, get after it. Like, like knock on the doors, make the phone calls, send out the emails. It's almost like God has created this vacuum around you to push you out into this new direction. And if you're feeling out of sorts, it's because you don't, you're, you're feeling the lack of control. This is when you kind of have to ride the wave because the universe is kind of taking you and says it, it's pushing you in th a, this direction. And I think the direction absolutely aligns with where you want to really be right now. There's just this fear because suddenly you realize I'm not the one steering here. But the truth is that's, that's true. But at the same time, it's simultaneously saying, be bold and make the first move. In other words, this wave that I'm describing is happening inside of you and you need to honor the change that it wants you to make. Whatever that means to you, please leave the comments below. You need to honor the change that it wants you to make because you're the one outwardly that's going to be making it. Trust this. Trust this is a new direction for you, that, that you're moving in the right direction, that, you, that you're feeling this because this is what's right for you at this time. And, and yeah, keep going for it because overall it feels like it's it feels like everything is collapsing right now and what it's really doing is clearing let's get a oh we got a moon card let's get another one remember that if you love the extended readings guys you can now join the bwob membership it's really inexpensive every single month and it'll give you unlimited access to all the extended readings for just a little bit more a month than what you were paying for one of the videos. So it's a, it's a huge deal and a, a huge value for those of you who love the extendeds and want to support the channel. So come on board. Um, Leo. We have the King of Wands here. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So you're moving from the Queen to the King. And I think the difference between the two of them is the Queen just suspects. Queens see the potential. When you're in a Queen phase of your life, you see the potential of something. You don't necessarily see it. You see the potential for it. What you do know about the situation is what you have inside of you and that you're you're qualified and that you're capable it says not too far into the future you're going to be the king where you you actually possess it 
You know, it's actually something that outwardly people see you as. It's not just what you see yourself as. The king is validated. And I'm not saying that you're looking for external validation. What I'm saying is that's part and parcel to the ascension is that first you get it inside yourself and nobody identifies you as the way that you identify who you are because they don't see the vision you've been given the vision and your responsibility in the queen phase is to see the vision so clearly that you then live the vision and therefore start creating the vision outwardly the king phase is when you have created yourself into the vision and ultimately everybody now sees you as what you've created because you followed the guidance of God and you've walked in faith and you've created everything that you've seen you've now become so now everybody else sees it too it's 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 literally like think of a canvas and an artist you're 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 putting all this color down so outwardly people are seeing a mess but then ultimately because you kept working on it and kept digging in and adding and adding because you saw that that end image from the very beginning from the very first drop of paint you put on that canvas now all of a sudden the image that you're creating is holy shit oh now i get it everybody else can see it too that's the king phase and i gotta tell you your king phase my friends is really not far off it's 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 right here so if anybody have you know i think your commitment is being tested because you know you're frustrated you've been working on your painting for so long we're using painting as a metaphor you're working on your painting you've been working on it for so long and people aren't getting it aren't getting it what god is saying is there is a shift and they're going to start seeing it very clearly very soon come with me to the extended guys i love you and i'll see you there